decided to make a couple more videos before I get back to work, so let's get to it. We're going to do this very quickly. I don't have much time. Today we're doing Man of War, the editor. You can access the editor by pressing play and then launch editor or opening the file manager and going to Mo editor, Man of War editor. Today we're doing the spawner because I saw that the spawner videos on YouTube are absolute shit. They don't explain it well, they're slow. First thing you do, you press F2 if you're not already in the F2 menu. Then you press load, you go to multi, I guess. Frontline 6 is very cool. Frontline 6 has this huge city which you can use to blow up. Everything is destructible. You're in the F2 menu now. It's very important that you press F3 to use this spawner function. When you press F3, and this, this part was the most important part, the previous videos, they usually don't show that, they don't tell you. So you're working in F2, and you're like in the comment section, oh, it doesn't work. I know, they didn't tell you. It's in F3. So <laughs> you go to F3, you spawn your whatever. Mm. Let's, let's, go, let's go with some Nazis, why not? We'll make some Schutze Gestapo. <coughs> okay, so it was a little hiccup there by the software, but now it's working. You have your Schutze Gestapo or whatever they're called here. They have a player assigned. All cool, looks good. Scroll all the way down after selecting them, and you go to tags. You add a few tags. You add the tag hidden, and then whatever name you want. So in this case, I'll call them SS1. They have these two tags. Um... Next up, we're going to make a waypoint uh, at SS1. This is going to be the route. You click on add here, and you have this little thingy, this waypoint, I guess. You select it. This is important. They're also not explaining this in the other tutorial as well. You select it. You press add. And you press here, for example. You can make a whole route if you want it, but you have to select them one after the other. I also mentioned by selecting it, I first pressed the right mouse button to deselect it, and then I selected it, so you can select it properly. Delete that sound step. All right, so now we have our little route. We can make a trigger. The trigger you make like this, SS1, call it the same. And we'll start adding commands to it. First, I'm going to copy that way because I don't know exactly why. We'll make a delay, as you guys just saw. Then we'll make an actor state. Um, this took the other guy eight minutes. I'm going to do it quicker, hopefully. So just so you saw, I, I did actor state, then selector. I pressed here, then I went to tag. And I click on the SS1. I press OK, end up in this menu the speed to assault and that should be pretty much it next up you could fiddle around with those settings but I'll leave that up to you yeah um, we're gonna make a loop so right click we go to generic then loop put it in there and we'll put the loop to whatever number you want it's gonna be a amount of times that uh, the soldiers appear in that loop then we'll make a waypoint inside. So you saw that, I right clicked it, add inside, then waypoint. Go to waypoint. And the waypoints, we're gonna do the same. Select actor, not squad. Make a tag, SS1, the one that we made. And then it's important that you put in the right waypoint. Uh, currently you can't see it, but it was zero. These values will increase. So the third waypoint you set down there will be number three, even though it's a separate route. So a next group would require the number three in this. So we're gonna put zero. Uh, turn clone on and make squad. That might be useful, depending on what you're looking for exactly. And then we add a delay. And inside, so we add a delay from here or here, doesn't matter. And we'll make that 20 ticks, 20 seconds, I think it is. OK, 
to put other statements in here, like as if they die or something else happens to them or other conditions, which might be useful because if they keep spawning in, at some point this almost single threaded game that is agent at this point will crash. <laughs> Independently of how good your computer is, it will crash. The software is not written to uh, emulate a huge battlefield, unfortunately. I have a 128 gigabyte RAM computer here with a nice AMD processor inside and a 490. It doesn't matter. Even if you have a server, it's just going to crash. So what you do at that point, uh, you press, well, let me show you one more trick. We're in F3 now. When you press F6, you can set the environment. I'm going to put it to the environment of this map. You can change it also. And I think that was pretty much it. Yeah, so you press start. They'll run over there. And we'll have to just wait for a tiny 20 seconds. Meanwhile, we'll put some enemies down there for them. Why not? We'll put some... Uh, some Russians, just a bunch of them, make them player one so they're hostile. With the numpads you can switch into player one, get them to attack each other. And they'll do their thing. And there comes the second squad, they just spawned in. Just like that. And before you know it, another one comes in. And that is how you make a proper spawner. So you use the keys F1, F2, and F3. Uh, you put the waypoints correctly, the triggers correctly, the way I explained it to you. And do all of this in the F3 menu. Do not use the F2 menu like I just did to spawn these Russians. And then start working in the other menu. This is not how you do it. One more thing I can show you. Finish. One more thing I can show you is that you can save this map as uh, whatever. But you'll be disappointed because now your soldiers are gone. Yes, that's right. It only saves the map. So F2 is meant for map editing, even though you can spawn humans vehicles and whatever kind of stuff it only saves the map so instead what you do you work in f3 you spawn your whatever's uh, you put your little environment to whatever you want and in f3 you save it because it will save as a whatever mission you don't have to put mission but like just to give you an idea whatever 11 right and when you look in that menu it would say MI for mission. This will be a mission file. In F2, this is a map. Okay, you see? You see the difference? <laughs> I didn't know that actually for a very long time. And that's going to be it. Uh, if you like what I do and you want to support me, go check out banana-mate.com. Banana that's where I make all my mods, my games, uh, often they are of an erotic nature. If you like that, great. If you don't, I really don't care. Uh, have a wonderful day. I'm going to make the next video now. Bye-bye.